You are hoping that no one wins the game before you get there, but you at least need to get as close as possible. And remember, there is so much prize money changing for every position you find yourself in here as well. So just that one hop up, that one extra position could be the difference between you and thousands of dollars. Falcon's now being forced down to the low ground, and usually that's an indication that someone took a little bit of damage and had to just prioritize an escape route instead of where they want to be positioned. The other side of the bunker you can see is going to be home base, essentially, for Falcons here. As you look at that stage, by the way, it looks like those are screens. That's actually AR. That's augmented reality that's showing all those triangles. If they're on, it means they're alive. If they're off, they're dead. So you can see one of those teams only has two players alive, whereas the team to the right has all three. The AR at this event has been nuts, it's by nuts. the way. It's yeah. been incredible to see how it's been implemented. Yeah, shout out to production for uh, giving us quite the show here for Apex Legends at the Esports World Cup. As FaZe Clan continue to hold this position on height. I think a lot of teams at the moment are waiting to see that zone pause, waiting to see that zone come towards them. And for the likes of LG, oh my goodness, for the likes of Dragons Esports, Alliance, SSG, Aurora, who are all arriving late, it's going to be pretty busy and difficult to get into. Alliance, one of those teams who's looking to rewrite their narrative here. Let's jump into a listening with Alliance. Yeah, yeah. Watch over me. I'm, I'm watching. Yeah. I don't see them at all. Have you now? Come, come, come. You see them? Yeah, but they might be there. I'm taking spot. the spot. I'm taking the spot. Yeah. Watch out though. Here, here. They're going to reset. They're going to reset. Okay. Danger close. Wait. One on my left. One on my left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, faulty watching from the okay. panels. Yeah, they're sipping a Cedo. Sipping Cedo, careful. It's team behind us. Nah. It's coming, coming. No, we cannot. We need to watch yeah, my Watch Cedo for us. I'm making sip. Come to me. We cannot right now. Good to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm watching for you. Yeah. I'm taking sip now. Come to me and take sip. I need the bathroom. I can't look around. Yeah, I'm showing the team. Listen, we didn't evac the fucking corner, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah watch, me, watch me, watch me, watch me, watch me. I can't run out, buddy. I'm watching, buddy. I'm coming. Coming up now. Yeah, listen. Might be. We're just gonna evac. We're just gonna evac the corner, okay? Yeah. Fire. Fire. What is this? Contact on my mark. Balloon dressing. They're jamming around the dressing. This team ballooning, by the way. Okay, listen. I wanna land in the fucking water here. I think we play low ground water, okay? All right. They're gonna get three people by building. Building needs to cross, and then we get three people up now. I got those right now. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, I will take Salana. Okay. Okay. Be careful there. I'm picking it. Watch out here. Keep here. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be. I'm gonna pull you back here. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Are you back on the other side? Good. You see this cover? They're trying to shoot us. But... Let's go. We're fine. We're fine. Yep. Take it's guns out. Land water. Land water. Yep. Let's gonna smoke some side right away. Now it's flanking right now. If water is taken, take tunnel, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm flying left and looking. Yeah, bait it. Bait it. Like, swear for it. Looks like I'm going. Yeah, let's go, go. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't peek out here. Yeah. I'm talking this. Yeah. Yeah, careful you should. Yeah, hold this smoke, hold this smoke, yeah. I'm There's peeking. Yeah. Nate, Nate, Nate. Yep. We can play this side on me as well. Yeah, I'm talking this side too. Play on me, play on me, play on me. Just smoke, smoke, smoke. Yeah, next one, next one. Yeah, hold that the smoke, hold that the smoke. Yeah, after work. I'm watching out the smoke. Yes, yes, yes. We can go this play on the stairs too. Well, Lions leave from the evac and find themselves under pressure though. Everyone trying to force their way in. One of those teams is going to be Aurora, SSG. Down to just coin for once more. 15th place overall was Aurora. Set in the ring of fire here. It could not be more symbolic of their position. Well, they are at least able to get that bot down and get a little bit more health, and they should be able to survive for now as SSG get eliminated in 18th. And look where that zone's going. Southwest here, pulling towards Falcons, pulling towards Guild, and pulling down towards EXL, actually, who are in that far south side. And they could be in a great position for the late game. They certainly can indeed. Now, for the teams who are on the north, this is going to be about a change of plan. It's going to be how do we get the kills? How do we get the points to get ourselves closer to the match point? Aurora just needs six. They've managed to get healthy. Bow and Rain's gone down. And now it's just two. Kazak and Nine Impulse trying to clutch up, but Nine Impulse will fall. And Aurora will not hit match point. That's one of our teams who are in the top five, but a team who is in the top five and could hit match point is Team Liquid. They get the kills. They find themselves four points away from that threshold, but they still have a job to do here from their position. Remember, they committed north as the zone starts to pull southwest. Exo Clan in ninth place overall, 34 points on the board. It's a big, big ask for them, but still very much doable to hit match point right now. Team Liquid taking to the tight here of the building, which is just above them. 
And ExoClan now will leave that building just as Liquid arrives. Still not safe, though, here for Liquid. But remember, they only need four more points, so they need to think about this one. Is there four kills they could get whilst they approach this zone? As Imperial Howl's just gone down in the kill feed as well, so we are going to need to see Falcons be careful here. Are they going to be able to get in a position to get the res here? Yes, yes. they are. Imperial Howl is back onto his feet. Falcons still need eight points. Alliance... Well, they need a few more than that, but they are moving their way towards zone here and picking up the loot that's left over by their Amir colleagues in Aurora. Elsewhere, LG in a fight with Team Liquid. Liquid just lost one. It was also Zero getting involved in Liquid. They are so close, but no! they are not going to make it onto match point as the crowd erupts because that means Falcons are the next closest. 55 points for Falcons. They need five more. Nine needed for Elevate as well as they try and line up their approach to this zone. Twisted Minds underneath the bridge. Elevate. Trying to make their rotate now. There was a solo which was just behind them as well that they're going to have to be very, very aware of. But Elevate have found a corner that's safe. But how safe really is this position? I mean, I will say 12 of the 14 teams have made their way into this circle, but DMS and ExoClan are going to disrupt them here. There is definitely going to be fights that happen, but is it going to be the Outsiders? No, Exo goes down to one Outsider falls. Alliance still fighting tooth and nail to stay alive here, but Ooh, Hackis goes Big down. damage from Hackis, but are they going to be able to capitalize? Effect, playing down the knockdown shield. Big damage, but Alliance will fall as well. Another team not able to convert opportunity into a match point position. DMS have gone as well. Falcons now four away. Four away. They just need a couple more placements, a couple more kills to go alongside it. And they would be our first team to reach match point. And there is kills available. Oh, this grenade. Look at that damage. Oh, this grenade. How wants LG? How wants Funk? And it looks like he's sending Zero in to do the damage. And they'll get that kill. They're now one point away from match point. You just felt that grenade was going to light up the kill feed as Zero is firing up the crowd here in Riyadh as well. They only need one. Nine squads remaining. Falcons looking to become the first to hit match point. It's one kill. It's one more placement. And they will be the first to cross the line. How aggressive do they go here? Do they look for that kill or do they just try and outlive some of their opponents here? You could see that Zero was fired up. Maybe he thought job was already done. But little do they know they still need one more to get over the, the line here. Remember, Falcons yet to find a win today, but they could still be the first team to cross that threshold. Elsewhere, there is kills in the feed. LGD onto DRG. And there's going to be a lot of info here for Falcons to work with. Smoke bomb onto the evac. Going to give a lot of information. It's going to burn Lufka as well. He has to return back to that generator. The interception pylon will keep him healthy as it looks like Falcons. They've decided it's time to look for kills. Gen down from Jemper, and Zero's gonna get the kill! Falcons will hit match point! And now it's about denying match point for anyone else. Clean up this lobby, get as much kills as you can, and take those points away from your opposition as Falcons continue. They take down Gil. Seven squads now remain. Falcons are rolling here in Riyadh. Match point achieved. Another team wipe to their name. As now we turn our attention to the rest of the lobby. GG, still up on this high ground. Fence is down. Face Clan have an opportunity here to go back to back, remember. GG still poking, still prodding. They're going to have a look at this. Mizuchi eliminated by Falcons in the meantime. Everyone being eliminated by Falcons at the moment. They know they've done enough, so they are being aggressive. They are looking to take these fights and take the game to everyone still alive in this lobby. But you mentioned it. FaZe, can they go back to back? If they did, You'd imagine it would be enough to get them onto match point as well. There are still a couple of teams alive here who could cross that threshold as well with a victory. Just to give you the bigger picture a little bit here. Excholos Laser, they're down on the southern side. They've been here for the majority of this game and are in the best position to win this game. Everybody else is in front of them. Their backs are completely clear. But they're not a team who are particularly close to hitting match point right now. Whereas FaZe certainly are. LGD will go down in the meantime. GG. 
do manage to get some damage as Jim Bird will take down Arctic from phase. So it looks like Falcons are determined to stop anyone else matching them. I mean, all the other teams would need every single kill to get onto match point, and Falcons are taking it off of them, taking that opportunity away from them, and now they're into the top five. Zero was fired up a few moments ago, and you can understand why. The final five minutes or so of this game has quite simply belonged to Falcons. On that high ground now, Twisted Minds having a fight with GG. GG down to Just Blast. He's playing behind that knockdown shield on height. Manages to get the knock onto Easy Flash himself, but back on forward with Falcons now as Twisted Minds will be eliminated. Look at the amount of space that Team Falcons have been able to take here with these fences. This win is up for grabs. Phase eliminated. Three teams now remain. The smoke and fire are about to come out. All the information you could want as Team Falcons look to try and make it a victory. Exxolos Laser make their move onto Falcons, but through the fire and the flames, they will carry on picking up these kills. Imperial Hell will get one. He gets the shield swap as we're down to just two. It's GG on the high ground. It's a 2v2 in the lobby. Spraying through the knockdown. That'll get rid of that. There's the knockdown cluster as well. They have to fall into the grass of Falcons here. And if you know anything about Falcons, it's not just about achieving one goal. It's doing it by winning the lobby. They just need one. It's bit by bit. You've got to climb. You've got to try and find this bit of damage to work with here. They're going to have to drop here. Imperial Howl will wait. And when the drop comes in, Falcons will stand tall. As it's match point hit with nothing other than a victory. And it was not just any old victory, it was a dominant victory that we just saw from Team Falcons as they send a message to the rest of this lobby. The only team to be on match point going into match seven. The only team who will have the opportunity to win the tournament here in the next game. As soon as they crossed that match point threshold, you saw their game plan change. It was delete the rest of the lobby. It was ruthless aggression and it paid off. An incredible performance. And boy, does this crowd love it as well. 28 points on the board as Falcons put 16 kills alongside that first place. I mean, the crowd are cheering one more game. You're guaranteed at least one, but will that be the <laughs> last that. one?